Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for joining our online specialist high skills major resource launch. My name is Christine German. I'm the manager of growth and innovation for Octi, and I had the pleasure of co-leading this specialist high skills major team along with Chris. And you'll see on the screen, this is who is on our team. There are fantastic writers from across the province, a really good mix of both specialist high skills major board leads and lead teachers who basically live and breathe the program every single day. And I truly believe that the resources that they created for you are the most relevant, useful, and the most number of sectors that they could possibly be, whether you're using them in an online or an in-class environment. And they're each going to go through what they've created for you, so I'm going to let them self-introduce to you at that point. So our agenda for the morning, um, basically I'm just going to spend a few minutes showing you how to access and use these resources. You'll see then you'll get a chance to see each one more in depth and then at the end we'll have a time for questions to be answered. So I'm going to jump right in how to best access and leverage these resources. So our team was pretty innovative and actually decided to use Google Sites um, for each of our resources with the idea being that students could actually just walk through a website and possibly complete a certification with check-in points with teachers and the assessment pieces embedded. So I'm just going to go right here to our online landing page to show you the resources. And there are instructions here, but we know people are very visual often. So what I'm going to do is actually just walk you through how to actually best use these resources. And all six here are listed at the bottom of, of the page. So if you were to click on one of these resources, it would take you to the resource landing page here. And there's a few links on each of the pages. So first of all, there's a link to what we call the demo site. So this is site that, a site that is the original. No one has editing privileges too, so you can just see what the site looks like. Um, the second link here is actually how an option A of utilizing the resources. So you basically visit this link to make your own duplicate copy of the Google site that you can then go ahead and edit and customize, use pieces of, integrate new pieces, um, whatever works best for you and your students. And each one will have instructions on how to actually make a copy of a Google site, but I'm going to show that to you right now. So if you were to click on visit this link, it will take you over to basically um, the editable site. So anybody here has edit access to the site. However, we ask that you please do not edit this site because if you do so, then you're editing it for everybody that has clicks on that link and has edit access. But we had to give this access so that you're actually able to duplicate your own version of the site. So what you do is then you click on these three dots next to publish and you click on duplicate site. So what will happen when you click on that button is that you will receive an email in your inbox that says that you have started copying a site and then you'll get a second email that says the site's now ready for use. And when you click on that site that's in your inbox, this is now the site that you're the owner of and that you can go ahead and use, customize, it will bring it onto your own online learning environment um, and outside of Octis. And just to check that you're actually um, the owner and using the correct version of the site, you can click on this box here about sharing with others. And what will happen is, you should be listed as the owner. Um, and that's the way you know that this is your own site to click and edit. And we know that lots of people aren't that techy in terms of using resources, but I have to tell you that um, our team, no one but Chris actually knew how to create and edit a Google site um, before they started on the team, yet everybody was able to, to create something. And so we've also clicked on instructions on how to edit and use Google Sites are listed here. It's very, very user-friendly. User Basically, you create pages on this side. Um, over here is a navigation, so you can jump to any of the modules and pages, and you can edit right on the page. There's embedded themes. They're very, very um, user-friendly to use. Um, so that's option A, and the thing about option A is that you do need to have a Google account in order to do this. Now, there are boards out there that are not Google boards and do not have Google accounts. Um, so an option is to actually create your own personal Google account address because when a student actually gets to the published website, um, such as this one here, it is simply just a website at that point. So 
they can access it from any web browser so it can still be used even if you're not a Google board um, and however there is an option B if you um, if you do not want to actually create and edit your own site and that option is to actually just use our demo site so this is our demo site it can just be used and delivered to students they can walk through it on their own um, However, what will happen is embedded within the sites are actually assessment pieces. Um, so this is actually linking to a Google Doc. So if you're a non-Google board, um, what you can do is for these few assessment pieces, go ahead and just recreate these assessments in Word, and then you can upload them as assignments to any of your virtual learning environments. Also, because they are just websites, um, they can be embedded whether you're using Google Classroom or D2L just as pure websites into your course. Um, you can also take and recreate the assessments and embed them into D2L as well. And this is the next step that we'll be looking at the project. So this is a brief intro of how to use these resources. So I will now turn this over to all of the people that you would wanna hear most from in terms of how to use each of the specific resources. So I'm first gonna turn it over to Chris so he can talk about using the um, project management certification. Thank you very much. Over to you, Chris.